advice. It was thought to be almost criminal to be kind or forgiving to anyone. It was a case of uh, every man for himself and the devil take the hindmost. But Jesus came to explain about God's grace and to show how that grace uh, could redeem man from the miseries into which he had fallen. But of course he had to tell the truth, the truth about God and his world and about man and all the things that he was needing. To gain attention, he had to demonstrate that he himself uh, had the power of God. And so, as you know and as you believe, he performed all sorts of miracles that still has the world talking. He multiplied, for instance, the boys' lunch and fed 5,000 men besides women and children. He stilled the storm by command and the wind stopped and the waves were quieted. He healed the sick. It didn't matter how badly sick. He restored lepers to health. He gave sight to the blind, hearing to the deaf, raised the dead, and all these things. He was trying to tell us that God is good. He's not bad. He's not a devil of some kind interested in destroying us all. God is good. And God is wanting to prepare a good world for us not only here, but in the world to come. On one occasion, as you may know if you've read the gospel, Jesus brought a man back to life who had been dead four days. Je the Jews did not embalm. They buried, therefore, ordinarily the same day by winding the body with the cloth and the uh, uh, putting in whatever spices they could afford. On the occasion that we read in John 11 about this work of Christ, uh, Jesus' friends, Mary and Martha, had sent word to him that his friend Lazarus, their brother, was sick. But the servants could not locate Jesus right away, and by the time he arrived, Lazarus was in the tomb four days already. Jesus asked the girls to take him out to the burial place, and they did with many of the townspeople following. At the tomb site, he asked the sisters to have the stone removed, and they objected, saying that he's dead already, there will be bad odor. But Jesus insisted, and they moved the stone. Then standing there with the odors coming out of the dead body from within, Jesus uh, spoke first to his heavenly Father, saying, Father, I know that you hear me at all times, but because of the people standing here, I say this, that they may believe that you have sent me. And then uh, kneeling down, uh, no doubt, and shouting into the uh, door of the tomb, he said, Lazarus, outside, here! And uh, to the amazement of the bystanders, a body came out of the opening of the cave an unseen hand set that man on his feet, and Jesus said to the sisters, Loose him and let him go. Parable for our times. I wonder if Jesus isn't asking a lot of us to loose a lot of people and let them go that Satan has bound in all sorts of things. The one, however, who could do this could still not convince his enemies he had the right to such powers. And, of course, that is still true today. Uh, Brother Ahmed, I've been trying to say we will never accomplish anything by arguments. If we're going to accomplish anything in learning the truth, it has to be by brotherhood and goodwill and the effort honestly to listen to one another. But you know, other people have a different way toward that, and it was in Jesus' day. 
And so in the ultimate, he had to die himself and demonstrate that he had the power that was the mighty power which would make it impossible really for anyone to destroy him unless he consented to it. Jesus said, you know, that uh, no one is going to kill me. He said, I'm going to lay down my life myself, and if I have power to lay it down, I have power to take it again. The uh, practice among the Christians that sometimes is called the Eucharist or the Holy Communion is a celebration of the meaning of what Jesus was trying to say. For on the Lord's Day, when Christians take a bit of bread and break it and then eat it, they are remembering something Jesus told his disciples that night in the upper room trying to get them ready for the moment when he would be gone and to remind them that if he left, he would certainly be back. He took some bread, and uh, Brother Ahmed has served me some of that bread at his table, and it's better I'd, he didn't bring me some tonight or I'd used it here. Uh, <clears throat> he took this bread and broke it and gave to them and said, Now this is my body. You eat this in remembrance of me. And the Christians since that time have remembered what happened that moment on the cross when it was all finished and Jesus had done everything the prophecies said he must do. Suddenly he yelled big and strong from the cross, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And in a moment he was gone. And every Lord's Day, as I with my brothers break bread, I remember that moment because he said, Remember me. Remember me how in that I gave my life. It was broken and I was gone. But just as quickly I'll be back even as your prophets tell you to believe that our Lord Jesus is to return. And in the climax of the events of the world of this time, to serve in judgment in the final things in our world. But also this is related to another Christian practice you may not understand. We Christians, as you well understand, have been our worst enemies. Uh, divided in so many ways, saying so many contradictory things, you are not to be uh, uh, blamed if you do not understand what Christians are supposed to believe. But Jesus came to begin something when he came to John there at the Jordan and uh, was baptized of J John in the Jordan, and the heavens were opened, the Holy Spirit descended, and God claimed him as his special son. And uh, Jesus then said in parting with his disciples that they were to go into all the world, preach the gospel, and immerse people into the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teach all that he had commanded. You see, when the Christian obeys that command, he is demonstrating his belief that Jesus was, uh, Jesus surrendered up his life, he was buried, he was raised the third day, and he is coming again. Every time someone is baptized, this is the demonstration. This person believes that just as Jesus died, he can die to his sins just as Jesus was buried in the tomb. He can have his sins buried just as Jesus was raised. He can be raised free from his sins and receive of the